What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back, doing some VGC battles with this brand new Executor Sun Team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. I've been having a blast doing these new Isle of Armor Pokemon online battles, and I'm glad you guys are actually enjoying these. But rocking out on this team, this might be my new favorite Sun Team. Just like, it just looks so different from all the other Sun Teams, so it is going to be so much fun. We got Torkoal to set the drought, and we got brand new Executor with Chlorophyll. It learns Chlorophyll, so it doubles the speed in the sun, and Life Orb. It is Grass and Psychic Typing with Psy Shock, Solar Beam, Leaf Storm, and Sludge Bomb for a coverage move. We also got the brand new Pokemon Luxray with Intimidate and a Choice Band with loads of coverage moves with Crunch, Super Power, Ice Fang, and Wild Charge. We got our normal Venusaur Chlorophyll with normal moves up for that, and Charizard with the Charcoal and Solar Power to actually uh, do more damage in the sun. And then in the final spot, we got brand new Pokemon, My Shell right here, Fighting type with Acrobats, Acrobatics, Poison Jab, Stone Edge, and High Jump Kick, having that Inner Focus as its ability so it cannot get flinched, and Focus Sash as its item. Man, I'm hyped for this Executor. Shout out to my boy TNT for making me this team. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys want to make teams for me, DM me over on my Instagram page. Link's in the description below. Or comment your teams in the comments section down below. But, yo, look at this Executor. I did not know it learned Chlorophyll. Like, this thing's going to be an absolute beast considering it's part Psychic type as well. I cannot wait to show it off. Let's hop in. Let's get rolling here into those casual battles. Oh my lord, I've been having, like I said, I've been having a blast playing uh, these new DLC Pokemons, and I have tons of uh, new teams lined up for you guys to show off. I cannot wait to show off. I have a Jadragle team on the way. Oh my lord, Jadragle. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's that Poison Dragon Seahorse. It just looks amazing. And I got this team right here, this Terrakion team. Oh, you guys getting quick little sneak peeks of what's going on in the Jeans world. But yo, for right now, we're going to show off this Sun team. We showed off a brand new Rain team, and we cannot just not show off a brand new Sun team now. So let's get rolling into to these battles and rock out here first battle coming at you guys this guy has a g max blaster team if i had to guess if i had to guess a libero cinerace maybe a g max cinerace team i do not know a dragapult storm drink gaston tokus and snorlax potentially belly jump snorlax um nothing really too new here besides that uh maybe the g max cinerace or g max blastoids but do i just get rolling into the sun taking speed control and just i can just go with grass moves like i could totally do that like who could he go into that can really uh mess me up a lot I'm trying to think. Who could he really uh, go into which would mess me up a lot? I guess uh, maybe the Tokus for the follow me. But if he doesn't lead Tokus, we're chilling. If he does not lead Tokus, we are just fine here. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go Torkoal here. Let me see this thing as a base speed real quick. Let me see Executor's base speed. That's not bad. 107, we double. We should be uh, outspeeding a good bit. So I'm going to lead him. I'm going to lead him. I'm going to bring uh, Charizard in the back end. And then in the final spot, whom shall I go? He's got to go Tokus, right? I might just bring, uh... I might just bring you. Or, no, let's take you out and bring Luxray in that front spot. And bring Torkoal in the back and then Charizard. I said we do that. Because just say if a Tokus does come in here, I can always, uh... Just go in with the Luxray, but if he doesn't come in here, I can swap in the Torkoal and get the Sun Wall from there. And then take Speed Control and run things. But, if you guys want to catch more content from me, head to that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch, we stream... Four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. Come chat it up. If you have questions, I'm over there live. But Blastoids and Cinderace. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, bro, bro, bro. He's going to double into my... Uh, but the Intimidate is actually going to help me out with the Cinderace. But he's going to double into my... Uh, my big old Executor right there. Which is a little scary. Like, as much as I want to swap out, it's kind of... Like, it's going to be tough. He's going to return normal stats with White Herb. So you are not Shell Smashing, sir. You are not Shell Smashing. I definitely want to Dynamax... I think I'm going to just Dynamax and take out, uh... Do I take out the Blastoids, or do I go after the Cinerase? Like, they're both so scary. They're both terrifying. I don't want to go for a Max Mindstorm and take out the... Hmm. Go Max Mindstorm. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's see what we get after that. And then we're going to, we're going to swap into, uh, Burkle Rider. Let's get rolling here. I feel like the Blastoids might protect as well. I'm hoping we can do some work. I'm hoping we can do some work. I'm really scared of the Cinerace. If it doesn't Dynamax, we can take it out in one shot. But I think Blastoise might protect. Thinking I'm going to go for a Wild Charge or something like that. But we do have one Intimidate. A minus one on that uh, Cinerace. Oof. This is going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Come on, Jinx. You got this. Yo, look at Executor. It's looking tough. It's looking tough. We drop Luxray back. We get in our boy. 
Torkoal right here. We're going to set the drought. If he goes for Pyro Ball, we're definitely dead. But I'm hoping we outspeed and just one-tap it. So let's just see what happens. Executor should be fastest now with that cooler fill ability. And our animation is going to come out first. Let's see if he's Dynamax or not. I mean, what's called does one fake out? Blast Blastoid. So maybe he's going for a fake out. But he cannot really fake do anything with the fake out because Torkoal's not moving. And I'm Dynamax with Executor. Yo, dude, this thing looks so dope. He looks so dope. I'm hyped for this one. I'm hyped for this team right here. Big old Sun team here. Is he Dynamaxing? He is going to Dynamax. I feel like it's going to be the the Blastoids. Is it going to be a G-Max Blastoids? Is he going to uh, change the weather up? Let's see what happens here. No, it's a G-Max Cinderace. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. I don't even know what his move does. Sing to him being an absolute beast. He's probably going to dump on my Executor. But I should go first. I should definitely go first and get the terrain rolling. Max Mindstorm stab with the uh, life orb coming in here. Big old damage onto that thing. Big old damage onto that thing. And we get that Psychic Surge rolling as well. So let's see what happens from here. What are you going to do, fool? What are you going to do? We're going to lose some HP. Cinderace goes for Max Ooze. And he's going to change up his typing. you changing up your typing. I'm surprised he didn't just go for a fire move. I'm surprised he didn't go for a fire move. I guess he wants that special attack boost for that... Uh, for that Blastoids. That's fine by me. If he goes there for my Torkoal, I'm so cool with it. I'm cool with it. Special attack is raising. Blastoids is going to dig. Now, the real question is... Well, I go first, so I have to go after that Cinderace anyway. So I'm going to go after that Cinderace with another Max Mindstorm. Do some work over there. We're super effective on it now because he has Poison Typing. And then I think I just drop a Solar Beam over here. We're going to go last for sure. I should actually protect it. What am I doing? But I feel like Torkoal might be able to eat this one up. The Cinderace have guard. It does not have guard. Good thing. I was thinking to myself that it might guard, but this thing does not have guard. Most uh, Libero Cinderaces do not uh, rock out with a protect move. It's just a bunch of coverage moves. So that works out perfectly for us. Works out beautiful for us. He thought that the stab poison move would have been better, but nah. Executor eats that up. If he would have went into a fire move, he would have been chilling. Dig's going to come out here. I think we might be able to eat up Dig. Yeah, all day. All day, Dig. And then Solar Beam's going to pop out here. Only takes one turn because we're in the big old heat sun. And we might be able to take this thing out. 120 base damage. Super effective. No stat, but still. Come on. What you want? Twinkle's an absolute beast. Got my face blast. Get out of here. We do not pick up the KO, but you know, I'm totally fine by it. I'm totally fine by it. Executor has a speed. He has no more G-Maxes. I can roll into a big old stat Max Mindstorm again. Or Max Overgrowth. Whichever one I want to. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Okay. Uh, definitely a... Uh, I could go Ooze. Who's is not super effective though. Mm, I'd rather go for a Mindstorm. Because he's going to follow me that. I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave. This Heat Wave should be able to take out that Blastoids. In this drought. But come on, man. Right, you got to be going for follow me. Executor coming up strong in battle number one. This is hype. This is hype. We got Luxury's Intimidate, which actually helped out a lot with that, uh, with that, uh, Cinderace. And we still have Luxury full health in the back end. Same thing with Charizard. Full Full, uh, health in the back end and Charizard is gonna probably be the fastest now considering there's no really speed thing going on but executor bruh who would have thought big old like little eggs evolved into this thing that could dominate in the sun like come on this is why you love Pokemon and guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys uh think of the new Pokemon Unite the little what is it the I forget what it's even called the MOBA I think that's what's called the Pokemon MOBA the new Pokemon Unite I'm thinking it looks pretty cool let me know in the comment section down below what are your uh, thoughts on it? are you guys gonna be picking it up are you guys like hyped for it or would you guys have rather have something different but Max Mindstorm comes out here and we almost one tap that Togekiss but um Torkoal should be able to come in here and clean this one up all day Surf's gonna do not that much it did a lot more than I thought it would be. oh he kills a uh, Togekiss with it he kills Togekiss with that I guess it, I'm wondering why that did so much. Like, we're in the drought, and it seems like it did a heap amount. But Heat Wave's going to come out here, take out the Blastoids, and it comes down to a 4v1 situation. And there we go. This dude turns off his switch. Let's get it. Executor OP coming in clutch in battle number one and absolutely dominating. Bruh, we made that dude quit. Let's go, dude. That's hilarious. I always love when that thing pops up on my screen. Error, communication, all that. I'm like, yeah, yo, I just slapped on. You get out my face. But battle number two on its way. This guy has potential G-Max Blastoid. Zoroke, I've been wanting to show him off. I would love to get my hands on a Zoroke team. That'd be tough. Uh, Talonflame with the Gale Wings. Glaceon, Tessarina with uh, probably Queenly Majesty. And Flygon in the final spot. Um, I heard Zoroke's ability, I do not know too, too much about it, is Illusion, and he, like, takes the form of 
the last Pokemon in the party? I'm not too sure how that works out, but let's get rolling here. Um, who should I go into? Do I just go Sun right off the rip? I might go Sun right off the rip. But then, I gotta watch out for that Talon Flame. That's the scary part. The Talon Flame is going to be the scary part. Because he can absolutely run with the Gale Wings. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna go Luxray into, uh... I definitely wanna bring Executor. I'm thinking Luxray into Charizard. So I'm thinking Charizard can just, like, outspeed a lot. Just start teeing off. Hmm. So I'm just scared if he leads that Talon Flame. Which he definitely is gonna lead that Talon Flame. Maybe I'll go uh, my show, and then I'll go here and here. Let's go. Yeah, let's try to show off the new Pokemon. We'll get the Intimidate right off the rip. That'd be big. But the reason I didn't want to lead Executor is because this thing has Gale Wings, and if he doesn't go into a Tailwind, he can just Brave Bird and one-tap my Executor, and then it'll just be a waste of a turn. It'll just be a waste of a turn. So I might as well go in with the Luxray and the My Shao and roll off from there, get the Intimidate, and then have all these coverage moves, especially with High Jump Kick. Hopefully I can land that. That could be big damage for the My Shao. But he's going to go... Oh, whoa, I could have led. Oh my god, I could have ran this battle. I could have ran it so easily. Two special attackers come out. It's a little, a little tougher for us now. But, yo, dude, I could have ran this. I could have went through if I would have led Torkoal and Executor. Bro, what you mean? Get out of my face. Okay. I do have Ice Fang. Bunch of coverage. With the, I got Choice Band, though. I got Choice Banding. I remember. I'm Choice Banding. I cannot hit the fly on with this thing. I could just go for a straight Wild Charge. And have my shadow just go out and start piecing up. I do have Stone Edge and High Jump Kick. Yo, do I risk the High Jump Kick? Bruh. Uh, what other Pokemon does he have? Let's see. I mean, ice isn't bad. Ice is not bad. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Ice Fang into you, and I'm going to bank on a high jump kick slapping up. I'm going to bank on a stab high jump kick. Hit. Oh, no. He's going to withdraw. You want to go junk. So he's going to go into Talon Flame. Hopefully, I can get off this high jump kick. I got to land it now. High jump kick. Yes. Let's get it. Big old lands. Get some damage. And Gale Wings, he's gone. Gale Wings, he's gone. Flame Body's gonna pop. Ah, we're burned. Okay, that's fine. The sweat. EQ comes out. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Eat it, Luxray. Eat it, Luxray. Eat it, Luxray. I love you. I love you, Luxray. And now we're choice banding into this Ice Fang. This thing's pretty much a glass can, so maybe we can do some kill it. Yep. See you later. Get it out of here. Get going, kid. Get out of here. So, nice play by us. Ice Fang's gonna be able to do work over on that, uh, that Talon Flame, too. Actually, is it gonna be super effective now? I don't know. I don't know, because he's part fire, so I don't think so. But still, we're looking pretty good. I just don't want to let him get off that tailwind, but he probably still will, because he's a really fast Pokemon. Hmm. The tailwind's just going to help him when we get out our Executor and our Torkoal. Glaceon comes back out here, and I got to go into another Ice Fang, because I'm choosing that. I'll go after you, and I'm going to go for another high jump kick. I'm, I think I'm going to miss it, but still, I'm going into it. What you want, fool? What you want? Hmm. He's gotta be sent up Tailwind, right? That burn, yo. That flame body. I thought this thing was gonna be Gale Wings, man. This thing's flame body and does work on us. High jump kick connects again, yo. My shot. Let's get it. Let's get it. And he still one taps. Oh my god. It's a Zoro. It's a Zoro, but we still killed it. <laughs> this thing, illusion swap. That is sick. That is sick. Acrobats come out. We're gonna say bye bye to Mouse. My shall. And, dude, we are ripping in this battle. Ice Fang should be able to come out here and potentially kill this thing. And then roll out strong, right? Ice Fang gets KO. Pfft. Choice ban. Coming up clutch. Burns our Luxray, but we're fine. Uh, his final mine is going to be Glaceon. Um, I'm just going to go Executor, Dynamax. Uh, he might quit. He might quit, to be honest. But I'm going to go Executor, Dynamax, then swap into Torkoal so I can guarantee my speed advantage. And then just win the game. Oh my lord. Oh, Jeans, stop it. Jeans, knock it off. Yo, you're hurting little kids' feelings, yo. You're dominating out here. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just slapping. I've been slapping recently. All right, let's swap out into Torkoal. Yes, I have a Soul Fest too, but yo, TNT. Let's get it, yo. This team's been rocking out. Uh, Overgrowth is probably your be best bet here. Get that grassy terrain and it's 140. 10 more base power. This guy's going to stay in here. He's got a Dynamax, right? And yo, we high jump kicked. I didn't even know that was Zoro. I just hit that thing. I was like, yo, see you later. But Drought comes out. We get that Chlorophyll action. We looking good. We looking good. Here goes our Dynamax. I wonder if he's going to Dynamax or if he just wants to uh, end this match. But yo, jeans. Let's get it, baby. Yo, I already know what this dude's saying. You guys already know, too. He's probably like, when I hit that Zoro, he's probably like, what you mean? <laughs> he's like, 
you landed two high jump kicks and without a wide lens? What you mean? But we run into this. He's gonna Dynamax as well, but we coming for him. There's no way. I don't think uh, just one uh, Hailstorm is going to be able to take me out. If not, I'll be able to have Heat Wave come in the, the next turn. And I have that Soul Best, so there's no way you're taking out my Toe in one shot. But yo, with Jeans going for that 2 0, baby, can we get our first 3 0 for the Isle of Armor since the Isle of Armor DLC came out with a new Pokemon team? Because I feel like I've just been going 2 1. I've been going 2 1 so much. But right now we're 2 0, and there's a chance. There's a chance. We have big damage off right there. Um, this thing's probably going to go for that Hailstorm, change up the weather, which is totally fine. I'm cool with it. That's fine by me. We got that grassy terrain, baby. Grassy terrain. It was a hailstorm. I'm telling you, we eat this up. We eat it up all day. That's a tasty snack you got there. Yes, sir. We eat up. Yes, sir. Get it, executor. <laughs> Hail Buff is going to come out here. We're slower now, but either way, that's going to be game. Either way, it's going to be game. I'm going to go into a heat wave and play it safe. Get that HP restore there. This heat wave should be able to take it out. I don't want to go for a uh, eruption and then have my health really low and end up losing like that. So I'm gonna just play it safe by dropping the heat wave. No eruption would be the better call. He needed that kill there, big time. But I still think we would have won because we could have just went into our uh, luxury. And you were not, like I said, you were not taking out my uh, my torque on one shot. It has a soul pass. That's GG. Overgrowth comes out here. We still outspeed. We get the 1.3 times multiplier because the grassy terrain. And we say wrap it up. Let's get it. 2 0, baby. Dude, Executor. I'm loving this. I am loving this. Like, this Sun Team feels so, like, it just feels new with an Executor on it. I love how it learns Chlorophyll and it can bring another Pokemon on for Sun Team. So it's not just the same thing every single time. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Can Jeans do it? Can he go 3 0 for his first time since the Isle of Armor Pokemon come out? We're going to find out here in battle number three. Let's get it, guys. Starmie team right here with Scissor, Alolan Saiyan slash Volcarona. Ooh, that's a cool Pokemon. Urshifu and Alolan Ninetales. So probably Slush Rush. I got to kind of watch that. I think Torkoal could be a back-end Pokemon, and I can swap him in if he tries to do that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go... Do I go Executor? Right off the bat? Like, I would love to... Like, like this thing just overpowers, like, Venusaur. It's so good. And Leaf Storm on it, too. I'm going to go Executor. I'm going to break Twinkle definitely in the back end. I could go Intimidate turn one. Have that electric and choice ban right off the mat. Or I can go My Shell. My Shell's not bad either. But if he goes like uh, Sand Slash, I would love to get that Intimidate off on it. And I think uh, choosing into Wild Charge is a good call here. So I'm going to go here. Just, just looking at his team. Like we just do a lot of work with the uh, with electric. I'm going to bring Twinkle for sure to set that sun. Then in the final spot, do I bring Venusaur in the back end? I feel like I bring Charizard. I feel like I bring Charizard. Reason saying instead of Venusaur is uh, if he takes away that uh, blah, 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 the heat with all the hail and all that, then it's gonna be a little tougher. Let's see what happens. Yo, look at this little uh, trainer card. It's the Cramorant machine. <laughs> I heard you can get like really good items. Like there's a way to just like farm really good items and like get unlimited money and stuff. But I haven't tried it out. But here we go. Here you get the gun throw out. Starmie and Urshifu. Okay, so double water. Double water. I get the Intimidate off. I'm going to swap after this. I'm definitely going to swap and uh, take out that... Uh... I'm going to take out that Urshifu. That's got to be Water Urshifu, right? Right? Yeah, it's Water Urshifu. I'm definitely going to swap out. We got our Intimidate off. This team just be running things. They just be running things. Hey, no, not swap out Executor. We want to fight with Exec Executor. We're going to go for that Max Overgrowth. Ooh, Mindstorm is super effective as well. Ew. Ew. I'd rather set the Grassy Terrain, to be honest. Do more damage with the Grass. Instead of the the psychic terrain, and then I'm definitely going to. Oh, I could stay in. I could stay in. I think I might stay in. I think I'm just gonna pop off with this wild charge. I don't even think I'm gonna set the drought. Maybe I should have. Mmm. But I can. I think I can wait a turn. I think I can definitely wait a turn. So Luxray just has that wild charge, and I, I would rather show that off a little bit instead of just doing what I did the last two battles, just swapping that tour goal. <laughs> I'd rather get Luxray some love in here. See, he's going to withdraw Urshfu. That's totally fine. We're Dynamax into a grass move, so let's see who he goes into. He goes into a Lola Ninetales. That's not bad at all, and good thing we did not go into the drought just yet. Well, actually, I could have and just uh, kind of countered that up. I'll go into it next turn for sure. For sure, I'm going to go into it next turn. 
because I don't want him setting up a roar bell or having slush rush either. So I can just wait this one out and play it nice and slow. Your boy Jeans is feeling good. He's feeling good, baby. I wonder what that storm is going for. He's gonna go for a protect. Like, what are you doing, Starmie? What are you doing? I got a Starmie team lined up, and I'm hyped for that one. I'm hyped for that one. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into a psychic. That's totally fine. He out speeds us, and Luxray should be able to eat. No problem. Wild Charge should be able to get the KO. Max Overgrowth. I don't think Max Overgrowth is going to pick up the KO. It might be Sash. Let's see what happens here. Is he Sashed? He's not Sashed. We pick up the KO. This thing's just a beast. Absolute beast. Now we have this terrain rolling. Wild Charge is going to come in here. Probably pick up the double KO. And then I'm going to change the weather up because I don't want uh, Sand Slash coming in here. Dynamax in and taking out my executor in one shot. Let's get it. Wild Charge with that choice, man. See you later, Starmie. Get out my face. Get out of here, kid. Yo, these kids don't want it today. They don't want it. She just is owning it. <laughs> we get that big recoil damage. We take a little buffets out here. And he's going to go back into Urshifu and then show his final mod. So Urshifu, I'm going to take him out right here with a uh, overgrowth because we get that 1.3 times multiplier from the terrain. Yo, Executor coming in big for Sun Teams. I didn't even realize he learns Chlorophyll. My boy TNT sent me this team and I saw it. I was like, bro, he learns Chlorophyll? What you mean? That's awesome. So, Urshifu's going to come out here. Do I take out the Urshifu or... Hmm, I definitely got to swap and change the weather. That's a fact. Well, Executor's going to have to go first. Uh, I could go Mindstorm, but definitely Overgrowth over anything. I'm just going to go after his Urshifu. I feel like uh, we can have other Pokemon to take him out. And we have an Intimidate. So, I'm going to bring in Torkoal. Torkoal can definitely do some work. Same thing with Charizard. Charizard definitely outspeeds it without the hail. And then, uh, we're fine. One Heat Wave should be able to take that thing out. You gotta be Dynamaxing, right? You gotta be Dynamaxing that Sand Slash. Thinking he has speed advantage. Like, he can take out my Executor after it gets off the shot on the Urshifu. And I'm totally fine by it. If we can bring it to a 4v1 situation, we got this one in the bag. Because I'll just bring out Charizard next turn, and then I can double into Heat Waves. And that'll be big old stab damage in the drought. Just monster damage. Actually, he's gonna change the weather up. He is going to change the weather up on us. <laughs> He is going to do it. Does Urshifu protect? He does not. Urshifu goes down, though, unless it's Sash. But I think he goes down. If not, I think the uh, Buffets are going to take it out because he's got to set the terrain or the hail. But no Sash. Jeans is slapping. Come on, baby. Show me that 3-0. Show me that 3-0. Hailstorm obviously coming out here. He's changed up the weather. And Executor, I think, goes down here easily. <laughs> Tanky boy. Tanky boy. Now we know for sure that the game's over. And we know the game is 100% over. Get out my face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do I go for an eruption or heat wave? That's a real question. That's a real question. Do I go for an eruption or a heat wave? I think I'm just going to go for a heat wave. Because if he hits me, then uh, I'm going to do less damage. But definitely an overgrowth because we got that, again, 1.3 times multiplier, even though it's not very effective. And then heat wave comes out here. Essentially finishes up this match. Does he cancel? He does not cancel. He's going to stay in here. He's going to go for another Hailstorm over on to Executor. Take him out. He got speed advantage because he is Slush Rush in the hail. I should have went for the Eruption. Should have went for it, but I played it safe with the Heat Wave. I can pop off into uh, Luxray. Get the Intimidate on him if we really need it. Heat Wave comes out. Yeet! And Torkoal just brings him down to the Sash, baby. Torkoal coming up big. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, and he gets that burn. That's game. That's game. Yo, Torko coming up clutch in that end, picking up that burn. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This might have neglected some of the damage. Do we still get the win? Burn him down. Burn him down. No. The overgrowth didn't neglect the damage. Uh, we'll go into Lux right here. And that's going to be game. He cannot pick up the double kill. He cannot pick up the double kill. The double kill. Unless he max guards here. Unless he max guards and then goes for the EQ. No, please. And that's when I just protect with the Torkoal. Oh, we got to go into Wild Charge. Let's see what he does. Heat Wave comes out again. Unless he does that. That would be a smart play. Nope, he just cancels the battle. Yo, GG 3-0. Finally, we get a 3-0. Perfect record in recording with a brand new Isle of Armor team. Did Sun Team just get stronger now that Executor is in the game? I think so. That thing's an absolute beast. I didn't even have to use the Chlorophyll Venusaur. Or the Charizard. We were just running games with the Executor and Torkoal and just dominating out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy TNT for making this team. I appreciate you so much. And this might be my favorite team I've showed off so far. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.